what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to check out a brand new extension for SketchUp that allows you to quickly populate rooms with detail for rendering without you having to do any modeling. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this example model is the house in Bucharest from Big Bad Wolf, if you want to download it and give this a try. But sometimes when you have a model like this one, you just want to create an exterior rendering, right? So like for example, and I haven't replaced any materials or anything like that, but for example, if I bring this over into Enscape, I just want to render out this space or the exterior of this building. However, that can start getting time consuming because um, in order for this rendering to look very good, you can't just have a bunch of empty rooms because you can actually see through the glass in your model, right? But I don't necessarily want to go in and add a whole bunch of furniture and other things like that. So that is where Roombox comes in. So Roombox is from the same group that's brought a scatter, transmuter, and the 3D Bazaar. And so what Roombox does is it allows us to add facades to our rooms. So basically the way that it works is it add, adds images into your rooms um, that act as backgrounds um, that look like the room has actually been populated without you actually having to add things like furniture and other things like that. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, you can download it by going into the SketchUp extension warehouse and looking for a room box. Note that if you put a space in there, SketchUp search engine won't find that. So, um, but you can download this and you can install it for free. And so when you download a room box and enable it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up a little menu that looks something like this. And so basically it's pretty simple. What it has inside of it is it has a room library and then it has a way to edit those rooms. So like for example, if I click in here, it's gonna open up this window. And what this window is, is this is a window that allows you to access the different maps contained inside of Roombox. And so note that there are a number of different maps built in, and then all of these come as a part of a pack. So you can see down below there's different room packs. So if you need like living rooms or bedrooms or anything like that, there's different packs that you can buy. Note that you've got office spaces, you've got um, all sorts of different thing, things. Um, they've partnered up with a bunch of different groups in order to bring these in. And these are pretty high quality, but let's go ahead and use some of the free ones in in order to just kind of populate this room. So right now, for example, what we've got is we've got a space right here and I need like a living room. So um, there's a living room right here that I can use to bring in. And so what you do is you click on the button for create new. And so when you do that, and it's gonna pop up a little window right here to tell you what to do, you just um, click inside of your model in order to place them. So when I do that, right, I'm gonna click on create new, move this out of the way. Notice how I can just move my mouse and just kind of place this. Now we've got a little bit of a problem in the sense that this doesn't fit in the space. Luckily, that's really easy to change using the window that's right here. And so what this window is going to do is it's going to allow you to adjust things like the dimensions. So notice how I can come in here and I can adjust the width of this room and it's actually going to adjust the width of that box that's placed in here so that it fits inside of the space. So you can adjust both the width and the height, but then you can also adjust other things in here as well. So for example, um, you can adjust how deep the furniture is. And so notice what this does is this basically is taking a number of flat objects and it's putting them in a room and you can adjust them. So you can move your curtains forward or back if you want those to look a little further back. It's kind of moving them inside of this 3D space like this. So it's pretty slick. Um, one of the cool things about it is it's really, really lightweight um, because it's only using flat images like this. So you can also toggle if certain walls are on and off depending on what your space looks like. So if you've got walls in here, like for example, I don't want this wall on the right hand side because it's just kind of blocking the window. It's not really doing anything for me. Well, I can toggle that on and off. I can also toggle the floors or the ceilings on and off as well. And so another cool thing about this is it has a day and a night version. So if I go to the night version, basically these objects are going to be emissive and they're going to emit light. So if I jump over into Enscape real quick, we'll go ahead and change this to nighttime. Notice how this space is actually lit up because that becomes an emissive image. And I didn't have to do any kind of special setup in order to get that to work either. So it's really easy to start adding all of these rooms and spaces in your model. So let's say we wanted to add a different one, right? 
So we're gonna so we're gonna rotate around. And for this one, let's go ahead and let's pick, we'll go ahead and pick this bedroom right here. So I'm gonna click on create new and it's gonna download the map. And then I can just place that. So I'm gonna move my mouse, place that right here. And then I can use this window in order to adjust it. So in this case, right, we need to make this bedroom wider. And you need to be a little bit careful because if you uh, drag these out too far, it is gonna distort them a little bit. So some images aren't gonna work as well for some spaces, but I think this is gonna work just fine. Note that you can adjust like the depth of the room. So notice how the further back this goes, the further back from the window this space is. Um, you can also adjust the resolution of the images because if you look at these right now, right, if you look at this one, um, it's fine, but it's not super high resolution. You can come in here and adjust these. And so if I was to click on high resolution, for example, that's going to download a higher resolution map um, that's going to get placed on this image right here, which means it's going to look better in our rendering. So note that now like the curves in here are smoother and other things like that. But if we jump back into Enscape, Notice how both of these spaces now actually look like they have furniture and lights and everything else in the space without me actually having to model anything out. That is like a massive deal for me because I absolutely hate when I'm trying to do exterior renderings. I hate trying to figure this out um, because I don't want to figure out furniture and walls. I just want to render the exterior of a building. And then you can also toggle these. So um, you can toggle these so that they're daytime instead of the nighttime. And note that these maps can get fairly large if you're dealing with the high resolution. So just kind of be careful with that um, so, that you're not, uh, so that you're not adding a whole bunch of high resolution images to the scene. But we can do the same thing over here. So notice how when I mouse over this, I can click on it to select it and then we can adjust it. So I'm just gonna swap this to a daytime right here. If I jump back into Enscape, these are rendering out without the lights being on, but you can still see things like the furniture. So this is perfect for like further away like this. So if I was going to render this house out like this, this gives me the exact detail that I need for this house to look more realistic um, without me having to do all that extra work. In addition, if you want to create your own custom maps, if you click on this option right here, you can upgrade to Roombox Pro. What Roombox Pro is, is it's going to be a pro version of this that gives you the ability to actually import those custom maps. And it comes with this Photoshop template that you can use in order to set this up, right? You set your images for the different walls and some other different things you go in there and you can actually create your own custom rooms from your own images. So in addition, it does also come with some additional rooms. So I think like 30 maps as well. So that's going to be 39 euros or around $41. But if you're doing any kind of like custom rooms or anything like that, this could be a massive time saver where you having to model things yourself. So um, could be worth checking out depending on what you're doing. So out of the box, this supports V-Ray, Enscape, and Thea Render, and you can use it in any other rendering engines. I assume that you're probably just going to have to set up the maps, like the Emissive and other things like that, um, inside of these other engines, but you can use it in those as well. So that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Roombox, especially if you do a lot of rendering. I'd love to hear what you think. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.